Records tumbled on day one as Brandon's 11 set about their mission of completing a series whitewash. They were led by their skipper, who set a new mark for the highest individual score at the WCG on the way to his third test century. Having driven the nail into the Rabi's 11 coffin, it was finally dismissed for 120. Daniel Hancock also made a new personal best at the WCG as he sought about extending Brennan's 11's first innings advantage. The youngster would finally be dismissed for 24, but not before grinding Rabi's 11 into the dirt with a blistering display. Although Rabi's 11 would fight back to take the remaining Brennan's 11 wicket cheaply, they would not stop them posting the highest innings total at the WCG. And Rabi's 11 have it all to do as we enter day two. Welcome to the WCG for day two of the third statewide traffic management test match between Brennan's 11 and Rabi's 11. As mentioned previously, Brennan's 11 were dismissed for the highest innings total at the WCG as they were bowled out for 170 right at the end of the day. As Rabi's 11 will begin their innings with the stick with it all to do. So as you may have noticed through Rabi's 11's fielding innings, Rob Leonard could not take his place in the side. But we've got a substitute player in to fill the void a baptism of fire as he'll open up. So the Alex step in to open up as he'll bowl to Pete. In now to back of a length delivery wide outside the off stump and Pete leaves that alone. And that's a quick start there from Stepien. It's a quick change of angle from Stepien. So we'll go around the wicket now to Pete. It's full delivery. Oh and he's knocked him over. He's knocked him over. Second delivery. What a start for Brendan's 11. The substitute player was thrust into the action first up, and he's gone second ball. Well, it's going to be Patrick McGregor to bat at two for Rabi's 11. Has had a torrid time with the bat this series. And he walks out with his side at one for none in the opening over. So it's Alex Stepien who will charge into Patrick McGregor around the wicket for his first delivery. In now, Patrick drives, is there an edge? He's been given first delivery. Can you believe it? Alex Stepien's on a hat-trick and Rabi's 11 are in all sorts of trouble in the opening over. McGregor's horror series continues with the bat and Rabi's 11 are two for none. Well if you're a Rabi's 11 fan and you thought yesterday's start was bad and you've seen nothing yet, as Tony Ibrahim walks to the crease the third man in in the opening over. So Tony Ibrahim will face Alex Stepien who's on a hat-trick in now around the wicket, oh, and he jams Tony Ibrahim up, but he's done enough to keep it out. Well, that was bang on the money from Stepien, and Ibrahim was up to the task. Well, Alex Stepien will continue around the wicket now to Tony Ibrahim. In now, and that's a quick delivery outside the off stump. And that ends a great over from Stepien. It's going to be Jack Sullivan to bowl the second over of the innings. In now to Ibrahim, and Ibrahim has a wild flay at it. And I think he gets a bottom edge on this and it goes through to the auto wiki. Yeah, it does. It's a nervous stroke. Sullivan will continue over the wicket now to Ibrahim. In now to full delivery and Ibrahim gets a thick inside edge onto the fence and he contemplates a single but decides against it wisely. Ravi's 11 have got off to the worst possible start here on day two. They'll need Ibrahim to channel his second test innings. Sullivan bowls to him again and this one's a full toss on leg stump and Ibrahim puts this to the boundary. He's off the mark here in the first innings. Rabi's 11 are away. Two for four. It's bowling will bowl the third over of the innings in there to Ibrahim. And that's a full toss and Ibrahim smacks that through mid wicket. And that one's gone for six. That is a genuine loosener there from bowling and he pays the price. Counter attack this from Ibrahim as Bowling will continue to him over the wicket. In now to short delivery. Oh, he's hit it towards Matt White there at cover. 
who drops a chance. Well, Tony gets a life on 10. It's a short delivery. It's hit pretty hard there, but he should be taken. A let off there for Rabi's 11. As bowling will continue over the wicket now to Ibrahim. Oh, and this one's a beautifully flighted delivery. And Ibrahim has no idea there. He's turned him right around. That's a peach. So final ball of bowling's over. In now to Ibrahim. It's another flight of delivery on. He's had another wild swing. And this time it crashes into his stumps. Rabi's 11 have lost their third wicket this morning. And they are in big trouble. Three for ten. It's young Nathan Hancock who will come to the crease. Batting at four for Rabi's 11. His side still trailing Brandon's 11 by 160 runs. He's got a massive task ahead of him here, the youngster. It's going to be Mark Pasterfield to bowl over the wicket to Nathan Hancock for his first delivery. In now, it's a short wide delivery, and Nathan Hancock leaves that alone. Well, this is the stuff of nightmares here for Ravi's 11. Three for 10 in their first innings early on day two. They still trail by 160. There's Pasterfield bowls again to Hancock, and he's beaten the youngster outside the off stump with a good nut. It's a good length delivery. And Hancock's neither forward nor back. As the field will continue to Hancock. In now over the wicket. Oh, and he's beaten him outside the off stump again. Yeah, that's another beauty there from Pasterfield. Yeah, this has been a great start to the morning for Brandon's 11. They are well on top here in this third test match. Nathan Hancock was able to dig his side out of trouble in the first innings of the second test match. We'll need an even bigger effort this time round. As Pasterfield continues to now, it's a full toss, and he can only hit it to Matt White. Well, there will be no heroics this time round, as Ravi's 11's horror morning goes from bad to worse. They're now 4 for 10. It's been a dream morning here for Brennan's 11, as Michael Johnson walks to the crease, the fifth batsman in for Ravi's 11. They are in all sorts of trouble here on the second morning. As Brennan's 11 look destined for the whitewash. Here is Pasterfield, will continue to Johnson over the wicket. In now, it's a good length delivery, and Johnson just defends that on the offside. Well, Rabi's 11 need Johnson to stand up big time from now. Still trailing by 160 runs. As Pasterfield will come in for the final ball of his over. It's a full delivery, and Johnson plays that on the offside. It ends a good over from Mark. And it's going to be Matt White, the steam in for the fifth over of the innings. In now to Johnson, and there's a bit of an appeal here. Hamid Basher is up. It, there's nothing from White. Yeah, there was a definite noise as it passed Johnson. Oh, it's flicked his shirt. It's got out of the way, but well. White will steam in over the wicket once again to Johnson. In now it's a full delivery, but this one slips down the leg side. Johnson leaves it alone. The scoreboard pressure might be getting to Rabi's 11 a little here. Because this is still a fantastic batting wicket. Here is White will continue to Johnson over the wicket. In now it's a full delivery and Johnson hits that on the leg side onto the fence. But can't get it past the middle basher there at square leg. It's pretty indicative of Rabi's 11th season. Their big players have just not stepped up when required. As White continues to Johnson now over the wicket. It's a full delivery and there's a massive appeal and Johnson is gone. He's got a thick edge through to the keeper and Rabi's 11 are in tatters. Five for ten as Johnson goes for a duck. It appears Ravi's 11 have thrown out the white flag as Todd Lavin walks in, the sixth batsman in for his side, with his side in all sorts of trouble at 5 for 10. His immediate task is to try and tame a fired up Matt White as he'll come into Todd Lavin over the wicket. In now to full delivery as Lavin turns that on the leg side, but he can't beat Hamid Basher who throws it back at the stumps. Here in Brennan's 11, smell the blood in the water. They are all over Rabi's 11 this morning. And Matt White will come in for the final ball of his over. In now, oh, and he's beaten Todd Lavin outside the off stump. It's too quick. Brendan Scott to come in over the wicket now to Lavin. In now, it's a full delivery, and Lavin plays that on the offside beautifully for four. Yeah, that's a gentle loosener there from Scott, and Lavin makes him pay. Rabi's 11, five for 15. Scott will continue to Lavin over the wicket. In now, and this one's a full in swinging delivery, and Lavin lets that go outside the off stump. 
He's looked reasonably comfortable so far at the crease, Lavin, which is more than can be said for those who have come before him. Here is Scott will continue again to Lavin. And this one's a full in swing and delivery, and Lavin gets across well and blocks the swing. Scott dismiss Lavin in both innings in that opening test match, bringing the ball back into Todd. And Lavin will be wary of that. See, he's right across his stumps there, taking guard on probably off stump. Here Scott comes in again to Lavin, and he's well across again, and it's a full toss, and he just plays that to step in on the offside. Yeah, this is good from Lavin. He's obviously got a clear plan to negotiate Scott's swing. Here Scott is into Lavin again. It's a full in-swing in delivery, and Todd gets well across again, and it strikes him on the pad, but he's playing a stroke. He won't be given out. Just one more delivery in the over to negotiate here for Lavin. And Scott will come in again over the wicket. It's a good length delivery and Lavin is back and across and defends. Ravi's 11, 5 for 15. As Alex Stepping will come in to Lavin around the wicket. And that's a good length delivery and that beats Lavin outside the off stump. Alex Stepping has been bang on the money this morning. Of course picked up two wickets in his opening over. Let's put Brennan's 11 on course for this third test. Step in will come in again to Lavin. Oh, and this one's another quick short delivery. But Todd Lavin sways out of the way, but well, yeah, the big fella is not budging an inch. Step in will continue to Lavin around the wicket. And now it's another short delivery. And Lavin is back and across and defends this well on the leg side. Yeah, Lavin's got plenty of time in this test match. And he's shown his teammates how to do it. Lavin's digging in his heels here not giving Brennan's 11 an inch. Alex Stepien will come in around the wicket for the final ball of his over. Oh, and he snuck this through. And that must have narrowly missed the off stump. He set Lavin up beautifully in that over. And it's nearly paid off. Josh Bolling will bowl the 11th over of the innings. Ravi's 11 are 3 for 16. As it's a full delivery and Lavin gets a thick outside edge. And it just falls short there of Jack Sullivan there at short point. Eight minutes or so before the lunch break here on day two. His bowling bowls again to Lavin. Oh, and he gets a thick leading edge. And this travels all the way for six. Oh, can you believe it? Lavin, who had never scored a run in a test match up until this point, now has 11. Five for 22 as bowling will come in over the wicket again to Lavin. And this one just slides down the leg side. And Lavin leaves that alone. Impressive rear guard action here from Lavin. He's just halted Brennan's 11's momentum in this morning session. He still has a long way to go. His bowling will continue to Lavin over the wicket. In now, this one's a short delivery. Oh, and Lavin tries to turn this on the leg side, but can only manage to get another leading edge. But this time it pops straight up to Hamid Basha on the leg side, who takes a simple catch, and they've lost their sixth wicket. Rabi's 11, 6 for 22, as their skipper walks to the crease. And gee, I tell you what, they need a captain's knock and a half from him here. This side's still trailing by 148 runs. So it'll be Josh Bolling who has 2 for 12 now. The ball over the wicket for the final ball of his over. In now to Obasha, it's a good full delivery. And Obasha is solid and defends. So this will be the final over before the lunch break. It'll be Matt White to steam into Rabi Obasha, and this one's a full quick delivery, and Obasha turns that on the leg side for no run. You get long odds for Rabi's 11 from here. Still trailing by 148 runs. They will not want to lose another wicket before the lunch break, as White steams into Obasha again, and this one slides down the leg side, and Obasha leaves it alone. Yeah, Brennan's 11 are to complete a likely whitewash here. They will be undefeated in two years of test cricket at the WCG after beating Matt's 11 2-0 in last year's series and will cement themselves as the dominant force here at the WCG. So White will come in again to Elbasha and this one's another quick delivery there from White as Elbasha drops the shoulders, deals with it well. Matt White to steam into Elbasha again. And now it's a full delivery, and Elbasha just tucks that on the leg side, and it beats both Bolling and Hamid there on the leg side to go to the boundary. Elbasha just deflects that through the mid-wicket gap, and he's off the mark. 
So the final ball of what's been a dominant opening session here from Brennan's 11. As White comes in around the wicket and it's well negotiated there from El Basha. And that will see us through to the lunch break. So it was all one way traffic in that opening session for Brennan's 11. As they are motoring towards this whitewash. Rabi's 11 are in tatters in their first innings. As they go into the lunch break at 6 for 27. Still trailing Brennan's 11 by 143 runs. The Vultures will be circling when we come back. 